Hello my friends, Runer again from Oslo, Norway. Guess what? For the first time in uh, four years, I have bought an air pistol. About uh, a week or two ago, I bought the same model in Airsoft. 8 inch barrel. Um, and uh, a few days ago, they got this back in stock. This is the BB version of the Smith & Wesson model 29 with an 8 inch barrel. I have not tested it or anything. I just took it out and had a look at it. And uh, just as the hair software, it is super cool. Big heavy beast for sure. So, uh, one thing I noticed was uh, the BB barrel doesn't go all the way out to the muscle. It stops a good bit down the... there. So about... Uh, Here, around five inches of uh, BB barrel and the outer piece they have put on uh, to complete the length uh, is a six millimeter airsoft barrel. So why they did this, I don't know, because the airsoft version has a full barrel all the way. And the airsoft version gives uh, about uh, 3.8 joules with a 0.49 gram ball. It will be interesting to see how this will perform. I intend to use it with pellets mostly because uh, from videos I have seen these things shoot very very good with uh, pellets. So uh, they call it burnished finish. Burnish it. Well, it is not blued, it is uh, some kind of shiny dark ish finish. But it's a beautiful area. I will try and uh, hook up the Caldwell Crony and see if it can give us some Crony numbers. I have some uh, steel BBs here and uh, I have got, got rid of uh, all the pellets back in the days so I had to buy more pellets Excite Hammer and uh, They are uh, sort of domed, domed, half domed, and they have a rifled skirt. I can take a picture and show you later. And I also, also bought the flathead version of it. That one has smooth sides. There is no weight put on them. So I thought, okay, let's uh, weigh them. Let's try the flat nosed one first. Weight is in grain. 7.6 grain. Oops. And uh, then the hammer. 7.8. So almost the same. The steel BBs are 5.3 uh, grain, almost 5.4 grain. I am uh, not going to show you how to put in the CO2 canister and load it. There are uh, lots of videos about how to do it. 
So I'll just rig up the crony and uh, see what sort of crony numbers we can get. I think the outside temperature, because I will have to do it outside, is about 18 degrees Celsius. I will double check and I'll let you know. So let's see how it goes. So I might have to put the shades on, I'm not sure. Let's try one shot first. BBs. Let's see if we can get the crown number. Four hundred and seventeen. Four hundred and four. Four hundred and three. Four hundred and two. Three ninety six. I think we have one more. 384 Let me load up with some pellets And now load it up with Excite Hammer 7.8 grain Three twenty eight, three twenty seven, three twenty. I think we have one more. Three oh eight. Yes. And now with the seven point five grain flat nozzle pellet. And by the way, the temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Three thirty. Three forty two. Three twenty three. Three oh seven. Three twenty two, two ninety four, and we're out of ammo. From eight meters with BBs, I elevated the sight uh, a little bit up. So from eight meters, I was aiming for that O there. So. Uh, Two shots in that one, and the rest. So it's not that bad spread. And uh, now loaded up with the flat nozzle pellets. I will try to aim uh, at the upper target. And uh, let's see how it goes.
that didn't go so well. I think the BBs actually shot better. So here we see my thumb for size comparison. 8 meters distance of fan shooting. I'm a bit shaky so uh, yeah. Let me try that target with a round nose one. So that target with the round nose of pellets, 8 meters. Well, that seems to work better. Three shots there, one there, and two there. So, uh, two flyers, but that could be me. I have a small tin can here, airsoft, could make holes in it, although at uh, just about a meter or so range. Let's see, with the steel BBs. Stand about five minutes back, meters back. Let's we'll see if I can hit it and make holes in it. We'll still do this. Sure did. Made a hole there. No dent. See if I can make some more holes in it. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, those two I think just crack it again, bomb baby is inside, some dents in the rear, where a couple of them wanted to try to exit, let's see if the pellets can make a uh, a hole in it and I'll load it up with a round nose of pellet stand about four meters back.
that was a whole lot of ricochet. Just dent. That one tried to penetrate. I think I might hit one of the other holes there. Not sure. But yeah, fun. Tin can. Plinko. Uh, no. Just uh, some shooting at the paper cardboard uh, target there. Range is about 5 meters or so. Offhand shooting. Flat nose pellets. Starting to get tired in my trigger finger. <laughs> I have prosthetic joints, etc. So again, yeah, quite fun. Let me load it up again and we can try uh, in double action. So, let's try double action. I will use my middle finger or traffic finger for pulling the trigger. So, same. Upper targets. Not the most steady hold in the world. I'm completely not used to shooting uh, targets. So uh, normally I just shoot at uh, tin cans or just power testing uh, paintball markers. So it's a long time since I uh, used any pellet guns. So yeah. Fun BB gun indeed. Okay, let me try one handed, see how that goes. I'm shaking like crazy. And I think we're just about out of CO2 gas. I see the pellets just drop out the barrel. And here you can see the upper target. Oh yeah. Well, not that bad considering I'm not in shape. So yeah, very fun BB gun indeed. Let's see if it will still pop. It should, because uh, I haven't removed the CO2 canister yet. Just a tiny plop. Plopping sound.
So, uh, as you could hear, just a little hiss. So, okay. Now I have one BB version that also shoots pellets, and I have an airsoft version. So, uh, quite fun to shoot with. Very, very good replica of the Model 29. Trigipo isn't uh, that bad. And it has a nice uh, wide trigger which has uh, grooves in it, serrations, I think you call it in English. So, yeah. Very, very nice BB gun indeed. Lots of markings. So if you're a fan of the Dirty Harry movies, like I am, then uh, this should be the ultimate thing for you. Yes. Okay. Hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you.